Good morning, Samia. Good morning. Thank you very much for talking to us on Mercer in a nutshell. It's a pleasure. Uh, you are a final year ODP student at Huddersfield University, is this correct? Yes, I am. Fantastic. So, can you tell us a little bit for people who don't know, what, what does an ODP actually do, please? Okay, so an ODP is a theatre practitioner. So, essentially, you're working throughout the surgical journey of the patient. Uh, there are three roles to this role, um, to ODP. Uh, the first role is the anaesthetic role, where you'll be assisting the anaesthetist in putting the patient to sleep, um, assisting with area management and patient positioning. Um, the second role is the scrub role, where you'll be working with the consultant um, and assisting them throughout the surgical procedure. And the final role is recovery, where you'll be um, working, helping the patient recover from the anaesthetic um, and post-operatively. So, and you've been doing this for just over two and well, over two years yeah, now. Two yeah. And a half years. Which 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 one of the three do you enjoy most? Oh, then? well, I'm quite mutual with all of them at the moment. I hope to carry out all three. Oh, very good. Five, so. Excellent. And how does one get into being an ODP? What sort of grades do you need? What sort of subjects do you need? That sort of thing. It's fairly simple. Um, at GCSE A level, they do require a science. Um, you need BBC at A level. Um, and other than that, you just have to show a particular interest. If you don't have a science background, um, there are opportunities to study a foundation year in health science. Or uh, I know that University of Huddersfield actually uh, do do a foundation year for operating department practice as well. So, and when you are an A level student yeah. or you know sixth form student, what about work experience? Do you need that? Is that something they like you to um, have? They, it's not. It's not essential, but it is good if you do get work experience, mainly for yourself, just so that you know what to expect and what you can be aware of. Um, it'll just give you um, a good idea um, of what the theatres are like and what hospitals are like as well. So. Okay, and when, when, you, when one um, gets into university to do ODP, yeah. what's first year like and what's second year like? Okay. What do you do so my first year was quite tough. Um, I had no experience at all. Um, so that's one thing. If I could go back in time, I would try to get experience in theatres. Um, first year, you'll be... For the first few weeks at university, um, it'll all be theory and then you'll go into your placement um, at University of Huddersfield you're at a placement all year round so we do 24 hours a week and um, and then the second year you'll it's pretty much the same as well uh, when you do have your exam period you'll do less hours and then you'll go back into doing 24 hours again so it alternates so when you have your placement you have like a mentor uh, and is that how it yeah, works so once you're allocated at a placement um, you hopefully you will get two mentors so you'll have one anesthetic mentor and you'll have one scrub mentor and um, they'll guide you throughout the whole year as well okay so it's pretty practical and yeah. hands-on from yeah. the very beginning really. yeah definitely um, it was around September um, late September October time you pretty much just get sent into clinical placement um, it's 60% clinical placement and 40% theory so yeah it is very hands-on <laughs> And in terms of assessments, do you assess all year round or do you have end of year exams or is it a combination? Um, so it is, you have coursework as well and exams. Um, within the first year you have a few um, coursework submissions and then you'll have an exam at the end of the year. Um, in second year it was, there was a few different um, assessments. assessments yeah. Yeah. Um, so in the second year, it was more uh, anatomy based, whereas in the first year, it was more um, preoperative care kind of uh, okay. and, and have you enjoyed it so far? Do you like yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. Um, like I said, in the first year, it was quite tough, uh, but you soon get used to it and I absolutely love it. Yeah. So it's, it's something you would recommend for someone to get into? Yeah, definitely. If you do your research and you... Um, find out what it exactly it is and if it is what you want to do then yeah I would definitely recommend it. And in, I mean you must have had discussions with people you've met about uh, job prospects is there a need for ODPs in the country is there? Yeah definitely um, uh, I know that 
it's because it's part of an allied profession now so it's a people are becoming more aware of it now than they were maybe a few years back um, and job pros in terms of job prospects it is very good because um, in your final year as well when you're at clinical placement you do have a good chance of being offered a job at the placement you're working at so okay that's that that sounds like a good thing yeah um any any words of advice for someone who's just got into their first few weeks into odp uh, any pearls of wisdom <laughs> okay my words of advice would be uh, just stay on top of your work have good time management because it can very easily slip out of hand especially because you're on clinical placement it is very draining uh, but if you organize yourself very well you'll have no issues at all Brilliant. That, that's a really clear and very valuable insight into you know, uh, what it is like to be an ODP student yeah. at, uh, currently. Thank you very much for speaking to us. No problem. Thank you for having me. Cheers. <laughs>